Hey guys, James back once again, but before I start my ramble on friendship games, I want to point out that Flash Sentry didn't have a major role in the plot this time. Rejoice, my fellow Equestria Girls fans. Again, before I start, I am issuing an internet mandatory spoiler warning. I thought spoilers would be obvious, but, you know, it happens. I really enjoy the way the focus is on Sunset Shimmer this time around. I get to see a lot of her development with the main six minus Twilight since Rainbow Rocks. We also get to see from Twilight's point of view as well. In my opinion, showing the views of both the hero and the villain is a great idea. It creates a balance where no one is villainized but Principal Cinch, even though Twilight was the obvious main force against Sunset. I often found myself rooting for Twilight instead of Sunset, despite the hero-villain dynamic. The animation has stepped up to the plate again, bringing with it a few chuckle-worthy moments, though the movie lacks humor in general. The plot has been greatly improved as well. Everything flows very nicely and fits in together without the odd breaks from the last two movies. But if there's one thing that I can't get over in friendship games, it's the soundtrack. After hearing samples, I thought it was going to be worse than Rainbow Rocks. I mean, the whole focus of Rainbow Rocks was the music, right? But no, Daniel Ingram and William Anderson did an amazing job at bringing characters and events to life with the amazing musical numbers. I'm still waiting for Unleash the Magic iTunes. Overall, I'll give this movie a Twilight Freakout out of 10. Friendship Games is a hands-down great movie and most likely the best of the trio. This is James, signing off until next time.